Hey guys, welcome back to part two of Boston Day. All right. Oh my gosh, I'm naked. Why didn't you guys tell me? Oh my lord, I'm naked. Oh, the dogs are barking. You can hear them, right? All in the day of, man. Can't even make pasta without the dogs thinking that my my dropped cell phone is all of a sudden to knock on the front door. It's like, come on, guys. Are you, are you guys done? Are you done? Seriously? Seriously. There's nobody out there. There's nobody there. You guys are overreacting. Can I get back to making my video, doing some, some mummy wrapping on my pasta dough? Can I? All right. Thanks. I appreciate it. Have a good day. Appreciate it, guys. All right. So, um, pasta dough, as you can see. I mean, look at this, man. I mean, this is, this is money money i love it i absolutely love it so we're gonna do some mummy wrap and as you can see i've got my saran wrap out and i won't be 100 percent honest with you guys unless you get like commercial grade saran wrap this crap doesn't work as great as you uh, you know it, it's not perfect it is what it is do the best you can with it but i'm going to show you you know the the best technique as far as wrapping something um just to you know to at least get it to do um I, i'll tell you one thing guys saran sticks to one thing 99 percent of the time and it's itself that's it. It only sticks to itself 99% of the time. Just being 100% honest with you, okay? So, uh, you know, you, you, you got a mummy wrap if you want something saran wrapped actually good and it makes it actually airtight. All right, so what I've got is I've already got my saran wrap pulled out. As you can see, it's almost down to the ground. And I'm doing that so I can set my tray of my pasta that I just did right there dead center. All right, dead center of the pasta or, or dead center of the saran wrap. All right, I'm going to bring my big flap up and over over to the center. Now, I understand that it is not sealing anything. This is not, this is not the point of this first wrap. This first wrap is a base. It is a base. That's all it is, all right? So that is all you're doing is getting a base for saran wrap because what did I say earlier? Saran wrap sticks to what? Itself. So, all right, there we go. Next, we're gonna pull it back out, okay? All right, I like to use my hip right there. Pull it back, pull it up, pull it back, slip it back, just like such. Tray, halfway onto the saran wrap. Let me show you guys here, all right? Tray is halfway onto the saran wrap. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's halfway on, not all the way. So you've got a couple of inches that are left over. All right, can you see that? So, let me wrap this and I'll show you again. All right, so we're gonna take this end over. We're going to wrap it to itself, okay? Then we're gonna cut, and then we're gonna pull this over to itself. And then we're gonna take the side and tuck it down to itself, okay? You see that? Now, look at how tight that is already. Already, it's ready to go. We're getting there. We're gonna do it again. Now we gotta do the other side. <clears throat> I know most people hate saran wrap. I'll be honest with you. Till I was in school, I did too. I, I didn't know how to use this crud. Um, it, it, it took chefs upon chefs and watching those guys and other students do it before I just realized. You know, um, you know, just how good it actually can be if you actually do it the right way. Um, you know. So anyway, I just did the same thing. Just did it the other half, tucked it, folded it, tucked it over to the side. Everything is completely sealed. It ain't going nowhere, as you can see. That's what you call a mummy wrap. Why? Because mummies are what, man? They're completely wrapped up with the paper and the fabric, except for their eyeballs in their mouth, right? So, that's what you got right there. A little bit of mummy wrap. Now, pasta, stay good, refrigerated, 24 hours. 24. 24 hours in the fridge. I'll be pulling this out tomorrow uh, to make the lasagna. I cannot wait for you guys to see the finished product. Um, and I will do a step-by-step -step process of how I do it and how I layer it with the cheeses, um, the meat, 
um, the sauce, the pasta, you know. So anyway, we're going to have a good time tomorrow. Actually, I've got a surprise for you guys. I'm hoping baby girl will be here in enough time to be able to make it. So um, my daughter should be here, uh, Miss Ansley. Um, so I'll have her on the video putting the, uh, the lasagna together for you guys. Um, she said that she wanted to help do that. So I'm going to wait until she gets home from school tomorrow. Um, and then, uh, she will be putting the, uh, the lasagna together herself. I'll just, um, stand back. You will see. She will probably tell me to get out of the kitchen and leave her alone. That she knows what she's doing. She's the chef. Um, even though we both know that ain't the case. But anyway, just joking. She's actually really good. Um, that's the one blessing that I have been given is the fact that my daughter and my son both know how to use a knife. They know how to cook. They know how to do stuff. Um, so they'll definitely make their future husband and wife very happy. So I'm excited about that. So anyway, love you guys. Be safe all in the day of me. Love you. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye.